Hello everyone. Welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we would like to discuss about the charge distribution across the capacitors when they are connected in parallel. Let us consider this is a capacitor of capacity C1. This is another capacitor, parallel plate capacitor of capacity C2. These two are connected in parallel as shown and they are connected to a source. DC source of voltage V. We know that in parallel voltage is same so voltage parallel equal to v1 equal to v2 and uh, charge q is distributed as q1 and q2 we have written actually already c parallel into v in the place of q as c1 v and c2 v as voltage is same that can be cancelled so effective parallel capacity of the capacitors when they are connected in series is C1 plus C2. We know this derivation already. We have already made it. But now we would like to talk about if there is a Q here, how that Q is distributed across the capacitors, uh, first capacitor and second capacitor. We'll use a concept there as, of course, Q equal to Q1 plus Q2 that we have already discussed. Further, V parallel is equal to what we can say v1 equal to v2 as we know q equal to cv v equal to q by c so in the place of v parallel you can write q by c parallel that is equal to q1 by c1 that's equal to q2 by c2 so what we can write q of course can be written like q1 plus q2 but we don't know that q by c parallel equal to c1 plus c2 equal to q1 by c1 that is equal to q2 by c2 that implies by equating the first two terms q1 could be written like q into c1 by c1 plus c2 equating the first and last Q2 could be said like Q into C2 divided by C1 plus C2. This is how the charge is distributed. This Q, this C1 plus C2 are common for all of them. So Q1 is directly proportional to C1, Q2 is directly proportional to C2. So we can say in parallel Q is distributed in such a way that charge is directly proportional to capacity that means what capacitor with more capacity will draw more charge when they are connected in parallel that's how we can identify the charge distribution when the capacitors are connected in parallel whereas the voltage is same Thank you for watching. Keep coming back for more and more video lessons. Thank you.